And so I'll, I'll start with reading the title poem, Fingerspell. If you don't, um, if you're not familiar with American Sign Language, um, you should know that fingerspell is a word that doesn't have an ASL sign. Um, and, and for our family, we learned sign in the context of our daughter who was born with Down syndrome um, and knowing that she was going to have language delays and the doctors telling us that we should learn sign as a family. Um, and it was this special time for us, I think, because at least for me, um, coming at language as as an embodied thing and, and, and gestural, it really changed my approach to language. So um, it has this double meaning finger spell, which is like what I think language does, which like cast this beautiful spell, but also it has that context of being in sign language, in sign. So this is finger spell. The sign for shoes, not a finger spell. I hear a plane, my hand takes off obliquely. The shore attached to the water. Tall trees beyond the road, their roots beyond my elbow. I sign spring. When no one is looking, clouds. The rain deciding who. Cells alone with silence and books of time stacked beside gestures of opening books. The city beyond walking up staircases inside a room where no one is sitting. It's evening. We take off our shoes. I show you a video of murmuring starlings and wonder where they learn to say the world that way. What same night darkness was giving way inside them. Next poem is Albaid, a dawn poem. Albaid, oh morning earth smell like small bent basil, a child blinking open wet with thanksgiving, a sky we lay under talking over bird chatter. We spoke the bee tumble gradually and understanding. Our lungs became pockets handing out the days saying here, take it, just take it in your hand. Who knew you would be so good at ax throwing? What aim? I love the arc of arm, the fog of morning with my teeth on your ear. The morning come through the windows like children. Awake now, it's Christmas. All the lights, your hand. Couldn't we be opening each other? The next poem is called Ratios Golden or Otherwise. The ideal of symmetry is confirmed in the body. Look at my arms always matching or lungs or temples or eyes or any organ in twos. These breasts are heavy with suggestion, full of confirmation bias. I might be the most imperfect vehicle for reasoning, even though I know bold is the body who bases her assumptions on ratios golden or otherwise. Love, I've lost the ability to navigate a winter from a hallway, a summer from a road. I thought we were the same above ground as below, the root system, a mirror symmetry of our branch sway the black land prairie, a dark galaxy, salt for stars. I thought my capacity for sadness demonstrated a proportionate positive, like if I felt this way, you would match, match it lobe for lobe, even though the principle of symmetry is evidenced in the physical, not the emotive world. Here, precarity, then a cleaving into water, a sadness the size of Connecticut. The next poem is called Spectrum. Tonight, I'm the loneliest I've ever been. It's been a week since our conversation, if you can call it that, about snow. 
how it must be cleared quickly, no matter how we feel about going out. Today, I saw myself in screens reflected in their dark glass, spectral like an idea when really I wanted to be bloody. They told me to write you without emotion. They said, tell him explicitly what you need, what came out. Concentrate all your energy at the rims of our openings. Paragraphs like marriages begin in certainty and end in spectacle, part metal, part bird. I open and close your mouth my, like my hand was inside you. Tuesday, I gave you the letter. I hear our daughter waking up. She calls out for me and I get her. In the morning, the light went through the house, lit every surface like the house was an ear tilted toward the dawn, like it was trying hard to listen. And then the last poem I'll read is Zenith. It's, it's the last poem in the book and they, they're they all in alphabetical order, um, which came a little later if you ask Diane. Um, I started even after, um, we knew it was going to be published. Um, it was taking shape for me like a dictionary, like a, a spell book. And that's when the um, alphabetizing came in for me. So this is Zenith. You could tell I'd been drinking from the way I tasted my body, a reverse front range, recognizable for miles like the Mariana Trench. I was a calendar I wanted to fill with your appointments your chest a bank of windows, strands of saffron in the glass tube of your torso, August over. There was a child. God bless those machines I read easier than her face. In the early morning, when nothing is on, I hear her soft breathing, see her nose in silhouette, the light from the window growing lighter, the grass beyond, the gulf wind, the fronds of our mimosa, her pink listing, and this life I was after having somehow arrived. Thank you.